Hi everyone, my name is Vinicius Garamets. I work for IBM as a product designer and architect. And today we are going to talk about uh, a new functionality in Maximo called inspections. It's not really something new, it is available since release 7608, but it was fully enhanced in 7609 to expand the integration with other existing Maximo functionalities. Uh, before we start, let's set up the stage and talk what is actually inspections. So at each company uh, might have some different flavor of inspections from uh, condition assessments to audits to investigations to a simple checklist that they need to, to do as part of their activities. So it's quite simple what they have to do. And it's quite different from what we have in Maximo because if you look to what we build in Maximo in terms of planning for these, it's all about job plans, tasks. And most of the customers that state that they are doing some sort of inspections are simply completing tasks and saying that they, uh, they did that activity, but they are not properly record the results of that inspection, which is really the most important piece that we are addressing as part of this new functionality. So let's show it live uh, because it makes more sense to, to you to see actually what we built and how it works inside Maximo. To show it live, I'm going to show how to create a form like this. So everyone has a vehicle, uh, everyone knows uh, about what we are talking about in this type of inspection. So for this example, we are going to set up a section of this form and, and show you how it actually integrates to what we have in Maximo and what we built in the last release. And more than that, every time that someone have a form like this, it's beautiful, it's full of colors, but in the end, what came out of the field when the inspector really collects those response is something like this. So it's pretty hard really even having a template to collect those results and, and analyze them. This is actually the most powerful thing that we have in this new functionality. So that's it about PowerPoints. Let's show it live. So as a regular Maximo application, you find something new called Manage Inspection Forms. It's a new application, but it's using the new UI technology of Maximo so this is really the first full application that's not available in the regular Maximo that is leveraging this new concept. For this example, as I mentioned, so let's build like a sample vehicle inspection. I can define what is the type of this inspection. This is, this is from a domain in Maximo. And I can also provide instructions. So fill up all questions about the vehicle you're driving every day. So any kind of instructions that might help the inspector on setting up the, the form is what you can do here. So question, and let me just do it differently so you have a feeling about what I'm doing here. Oops. There we go. This is the form. So let's set up this interior exterior section. So the first question that we have is exterior body. So let's set this question here. And the responses that we are expecting are in fact three options. Check it out okay may require attention or require immediate attention. So for these we call a single choice. So select one valid response. And the options are checked and okay. Second option is my require attention. And the third option might be requires immediate attention. This can be set as a required question. So I just 
build my first question, you can see that the second one is actually the same. Windshield, glass, and have all the same options. So let's duplicate these and just rename to be wind, windshield glass. And I can keep doing the same for the other ones. The third one would be wipers. And if you notice that these set of questions are part of the same group. So what I have to do is simply select all of them and create a group name. In this case, it's going to be interior, exterior. And I can also have instructions for this particular group. So review the exterior, interior of your vehicle or any other type of instructions. But if you noticed, I also have here our sketch of a car. But instead of checking things in a sketch, why not take a picture? So take a picture of any damaged area of your vehicle. And for this, and this is actually new in 7609, you can define a file upload, which is actually an attachment in Maximo. So I can make this attachment required or not. And here it is. But if you notice, it's still being part of the same section. So what I have to do is simply drag this on top of my existing questions and also use these drag and drop capabilities to reorder my questions. Another thing that it's not really uh, listed in here, but you can use and this is actually part of 7609 as well, are meter reading. So review the odometer information. And for these, I can use a meter reading. I'll check the vehicle dash and enter in miles. And for these, we are going to use an existing meter in Maximo called odometer. <coughs> And let's stop for here. I have this build already, the entire form. This was just a flavor on how to build this form. And you will notice in this 7609 release that not just the forms, but also the revisions are now separate. So if I go to my forms here, I need to make it active for me to use. But if I go to an existing form, you see that all the revisions are now together at the same window. So let me go back here and go to our second application. You can launch it from here, conduct an inspection, or simply go into existing Maximo and find also this application, conduct an inspection. And here we are going to report this inspection result for an existing asset. So unscheduled an inspection, let me select my asset. And for these I have an, an an asset called my car. And I'm going to use the inspection form that I built before. So all the instructions are listed in here. And I'm going to start immediately this inspection. So all the options that I had in my form before are now listed in here. So interior, under hood, under vehicle, tires. You see that they are all grouped in here. So I can simply respond, no other comments. I can send an attachment. And if I'm in a tablet device, uh, this will actually open the camera of my device. So it's quite easy for the inspector to add a picture to my inspection results. So let's see what else is required. So I check my oil. I checked also my oil color, which was another meter reading, brake fluid, and then the mileage of my vehicle, 3,000 miles. Once I respond all the required questions, I can complete. I can create work orders for follow-up actions. And more than that, in this 7609 release, you will be able to see that these inspection capabilities are fully integrated in Maximo 
in other Maximo modules. So let's take a look on assets application. If I go to my manage meter readings history, you will see that my last meter reading was entered in here. All the characteristic meters were also collected as part of these inspection results. More than that, both assets and locations applications share a common dialogue to view work details. So I can have now an inspection tab that is going to list all existing inspections in my asset. So I can use the regular go to menu to open a particular um, inspection record and depending on its status, it's going to open for me to respond or if it's completed, it's going to open for me to visualize those results and see actually how they were by the time I responded that particular inspection. More than that, I have all, uh, actions that I can take from creating a work order or depending on which asset <clears throat> or location or work order that this inspection is associated to, I can use these menus to open that particular application. More than that, in my regular asset application, I have the option now to create an unscheduled inspection. So I have a drop down here. I can select my form. I can also provide a due date for this inspection. And now I have a pain inspections associated to this particular asset. So if I go back oops, to my view work details, inspections, now I have a new pain inspections that I can go there and really report these inspection results. <clears throat> so this is all we've built really about building an inspection form, being able to create inspections for both assets and locations, and also from the regular Maximum applications, launch these inspection results and report them. More than that, now we have really the ability to plan for a particular inspection. The way that we have really to plan standard plans in Maximo are using job plans. So I set up here a job plan and as part of this job plan, I did the same. I set up one inspection form in this particular inspection. More than that, in the test level, I also have the same capability to <clears throat> associate an inspection form to a task. In other words, everything in Maximo that consumes job plans from routes to condition monitoring to PMs, I can, <clears throat> I can use job plans with inspection forms to create a work order. <clears throat> in this example, I have here, I have here, Hold on a second. I have here uh, an associated inspection form. And checking the regular frequency, I have 30 days. I can have <clears throat> a meter frequency. I still have in 2000 units to go. And I can generate a work order. So in this case, I'm going to ignore the frequency criteria and I'm going to create inspection, uh, work orders for these inspections for the next 90 days. By the time I'm going to create these work orders, it's going to use this job plan and will associate an inspection form to my work order. So let's go to the existing work order tracking application and this same capability is also available in other work centers work execution, work supervision, you have the ability to open them uh, <clears throat> using the same capability. And remember that my job plan had this inspection form associated. So the same capability that I did in the assets application I have here to go to my inspection result application and really report these inspection results, which is associated to this work order. So since this is a pending, it also lists 
the asset information, the location information, the work order description, the due date, everything that is associated to my inspection form. And one extra thing. So I have all my inspections here. I have all the results being reported, even from a work order perspective, as well as from a task perspective. And I have the ability to really report these inspection results. But what else should I do once my inspection is completed? It's quite usual for my inspector to take a look on individual results. So he can come here, check all the completed inspections of my car and see individual results as well as to export this data and analyze them together. Not really individual results, but together. And the way that we have to do this today is using another existing work center called Business Analyst. And in the Dataset Designer, we ended up creating a new result set for inspection results. So it's quite simple. We combined really the information of the form and the asset. So I want the asset, I want the date that this form was created, the form name, the order of my questions, the question descriptions, and then my numeric responses and text responses, no matter if they are meter readings, single options, whatever, all of them are really stored there. Let me order this by date, by the sequence of, um, of questions, <clears throat> and then create a query. In this case, I can simply select asset my car, and then give a name. Oops, my car, all inspections of my car. And by the time I complete this, I have the ability to download this to Excel or even export to my Watson Analytics. So let's start with Microsoft Excel. It's a flat file. All I have to do is simply ex export these and put the data in, 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 in column mode quite simple, and then start building my charts. So if I look to a previous example that I did here, I can start checking data uh, based on information responded over my previous inspections. So this is just a, a, a pivot table with a chart, the same here, but with a, a linear chart to see and temperature and other information. And the same is also available with Watson Analytics. <clears throat> so you can entitle for Watson Analytics uh, and export the data directly to Watson and start having different insights from the temperature, battery charge, oil color, and things like this. So this was really an overview about what we built in terms of inspection capabilities, what you can do using our latest 7609 release. And at any time, any feedback you might have, just let me know, send me an email, and I'll be glad to help you. That's what I have for today. Thank you very much. And at any time, just send me an email. We can have a meeting, we can talk more about these, and I'll be pretty glad to help you. Thank you very much. You'll be touched soon. Bye-bye.